What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. I hope the couple of days without these videos wasn't too frustrating. I'm sorry. But here we go. Everything should be back to normal. Let's get on with the show. I don't remember what was going on last time. Oh, right. The, the circus is here. Mr. Keys, Miss Barry. Did you find him? Not yet. Just where could John be? John? Oh, no, no, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. They don't know anything about the kidnapping. Regarding Sebastian, we found him not too long ago. Really? That's great! Thanks! Now I won't be arrested again. Wait, yeah, what? Okay. Hold on, we clearly have more to talk about. Why are you here? As expected of Mr. Edgeworth, how'd you find him? Naturally, it was all thanks to his powers of logic and reasoning. Actually, it was just a coincidence. Search for Sebastian. I guess we weren't any help at all, were we? Don't be silly, of course you helped. Really, thanks a lot. Where were you guys searching, Simon? It was a bit far off, but we searched around the Sunshine Coliseum. Wait, okay... Grand Tower... Twilight Station... Sunshine Coliseum... Okay! Oh, where they had the magicians and, and pretty much like... We, we were here all the time back in... The Apollo one. There were a lot of people of the event here. Wait, oh dear. There were a lot of people at the event there! So I thought he might have gone as well. An event? Sounds like fun. Is it a festival? I want to go too! It was a lot of fun. There were food stands, fireworks, and much more. Simon got worn out by all the people in the crowd pretty quickly, though. You didn't have to tell them... It's settled. Once we wrap up this case, let's all go there. There are food stands and fireworks at the Coliseum. What weird logic. At any rate, I'm glad you were able to find him so quickly. Why is that? The truth is, our circus show is about to start soon. So I don't think we would have been able to help out with the search much longer. Sorry to burden you with this, but when you also needed to prepare your for your performance. Oh. No, no, it's okay. Please don't worry about it. After all, I also didn't want to get arrested again. I'm so relieved you are able to find him, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, but the warden still hasn't been declared guilty yet. What? So you're saying there's still a chance I might be arrested? Sure. No way, I'm not gonna. Okay, please don't tease him. Alright, now let's see what Miss Barry has to say. Even though Regina also searched with her friends. Uh, we were beaten to the punch. By friends, does she mean her animals? If I recall correctly, wasn't the Barry Big Circus supposed to have a performance today? Yep, that's right! We've all been practicing a lot for this upcoming performance. Will Simon also be performing? Of course! He's been practicing really hard, even though he keeps saying, no way, no way. He even rode in a balloon and did lots of advertising for us. So, Mr. Edgeworth, you should also come by and see Simon's heroics. Very well. That is, if we're able to successfully solve this case. It sounded like you were saying you used animals in your search. Yep, I thought we would be able to find him if I used Regent and Austique, but... Astique? Simon said no way, no way, no way and stopped me. No fun! If Simon hadn't been there, there would probably be a mass panic right about now. Simon, why'd you stop her? It would have made the city more fun, like the circus. Mr. Edgeworth, please forgive me. Why is he apologizing to me? I haven't said anything. Maybe if I talk to Gumshoe? From right behind him, awkwardly? No, we already did that. Okay, hold on. 
I don't think this- oh my god, okay. Oh, sound of an explosion? <gasps> oh! Fireworks! Mr. Keys, didn't you say that there were fireworks at the Coliseum earlier? What about it? Were those fireworks set off during the day? Yeah, even just while we were there, a bunch of them were set off. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? That explosion sound we heard at the end of the kidnapper's phone call could very well have been the fireworks. Don't think you can get away with this. Come and get me. I'll be looking forward to it. That is, if you can bring me. <laughs> For the sound to have been picked up by the phone, it must have been fairly loud. So that means the culprit was near the Colosseum. Even so, I bet the fireworks could be heard in lots of places around the Colosseum. Indeed, it would be impossible for us to search the entire area by ourselves. If only we could have the police lend us a hand. No, none of these are helpful now. Uh-oh, running out of things here. Yeah, we've already spoken with everybody. Hold on. Why can't I examine the car, though? That's really weird. Oh, I can, I guess. This is a shuttle bus used for filming on location. It's also used as a trailer for the actors. So it's a bus. In that case, I wonder how much of the fare, how much the fare is, and where the destinations are. This is obviously the property of Global Studios. There wouldn't be a fare. And naturally, the destination changes depending on where they're scheduled to film. A bus that takes you anywhere without needing to pay a fare? It's like a dream come true! What a terrible dream. That would be a regular car, Kay. <laughs> hey man, how's it going again? Mr. Powers, I know it might be a boorish question, but there's something I'd like to ask you. Okay, what is it? Are there perhaps any plans to make a new Steel Samurai? I'm sorry, but is that a question related to the investigation? No, it's just a personal question. Sorry, I can't talk about it with people outside the studio. Not even you, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, of course. As I thought, he cannot talk about it. But he didn't deny it outright. Does that mean there's hope? I think we've already seen this before. Yeah, I think we have. Come on now. Maybe we haven't. This, this is going on a lot longer than I thought it was. Okay. It's a guide map of the area around the Grand Tower. Let's see. The Sunshine Coliseum. It's a place where all sorts of special events are held. I've always wanted to go to the World Thief Expo, but it was cancelled this year. I heard that it's a huge event, where all the greatest thieves from around the world gather. But last year, everyone who went got arrested. Well, obviously. That's, that's what I was going to say. Like, that'd be the perfect sting operation. Who would actually go to that? Turns out it was just the trap set up by the police to catch the thieves. And even knowing that, you still want to go. I never really cared much for that sort of thing. I heard that ultraviolet rays from the sun can cause burn marks on your skin. Okay, what in the world are you talking about? Come on, I'm talking about the Rising Sun Park, of course. I'd like to bask in that sentiment while I watch the sun rise in the park. Hmm, it seems the harbor and the way center are quite close to each other. There you go, that's a piece of logic. Come on, give it to me. That's logic! Give me the logic! Maybe that's where they dispose of all the garbage that comes floating in from the ocean. Perhaps they do, but I'm sure they also deal with other types of waste as well. You don't mean shells and fish bones, do you? You can't just throw away the fish and shells you catch from the sea like garbage. You ought to recycle them, make them into jewelry and stuff. Okay, let's talk about this matter some other time. 
This is... But... But this is... What? Dusk Waste Management. Do they help you manage your wasteful spending? No, this is where the garbage trucks bring all the uncombustible uh, waste they've collected. By the way, Kay, why are you so fidgety? It's nothing. More importantly, there's another waste center on the top right corner of the map. Since they're separate facilities, they probably handle different kinds of waste. Although there does seem to be a lot of waste management facilities around here. Oh, I think I know why. I bet they're always collecting garbage from dusk till dawn. Are you so fidgety because you're waiting for a chance to say that? Ba -da -ba. This is the Grand Tower. It's where we are right now. It's a nice building, but I can't say I'm a fan. I can't blame her. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be strange if she ever wanted to set foot in the tower again. Oh, I'm having a hard time reading. But Mr. Edgeworth, once we discover the truth and completely solve this case, can we come here again, just to sightsee? And we can bring Gummy along with us. Never letting the past hold you back. And always looking forward. That's just like you. Unfortunately, Kay, we aren't quite finished here yet. There's still much left to solve. It's too early to be making plans for the future. I guess so. Well then, let's hurry up and solve it. But this is... Uh, do I not have the logic for it? Hold on. Cars came through. Garbage pickup area. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Black Liberty was attacked. Should I link these together? The only vehicles that came through the plaza this morning were the taxi and a blue truck. And Mr. DeBest was kidnapped in that taxi. Yes. Meanwhile, John was attacked in the garbage pickup truck. Uh, yeah. I got it right. I got it right. And the garbage was collected from there at 11 a.m. I've got it. The blue truck. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. The blue truck was actually... That's right. The blue truck that came through the plaza was a garbage truck. Be that as it may, the officer who gave us this information made no mention that the blue truck was a garbage truck. Talk about careless. How could someone mistake a garbage truck for a normal truck? That's not it, Kay. Today was the day for the collection of bulk waste. I suspect it was a standard truck without a trash compactor that came by to collect the trash. John was taken away by this garbage truck. And where do garbage trucks go? To the dump, of course. Hold up. The, the culprit was disguised as a garbage collector, right? Then the truck was probably fake, too. How do we know they really went to the dump? No, the garbage truck should have been real. Why is that? That will be made clear if you simply take a look at the garbage pickup area. This shows that the garbage truck John was kidnapped in was real. That there's no garbage here? Take that! There's something important there? This spot alone is evidence enough that the garbage truck was a real one. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so... Okay, stop talking. Stop. Stop it. Shut up. I'm trying to prove that it was real because there's no garbage here. Was it because the garbage was here? Take that. Okay, that's not it either. Then let's look at, let's do it based on time then. Take that. Okay, that's the third one we've gotten wrong. That's pretty impressive. Is it that there's a lock? Take that. Okay, wow, that was like the fourth attempt. The garbage pickup area is locked. Only a real garbage collector could have unlocked it to collect the trash. Precisely. We should assume that a genuine garbage truck was used. For example, the kidnapper could have put John into a large cardboard box. If the box was mixed in with the rest of the bulk waste, the garbage collector would have carried John away without even knowing it. Exactly. The culprit would then line way to the garbage dump. 
And if they said I threw it away by mistake, the box would be returned to them. Any garbage dumps nearby? Yes? Let's see... There's two of them. So which garbage dump was he taken to? It's absolutely the northeastern one because they hurt the fireworks. That's the relation. Alright. Now we have it. Now let's see. I bet the deduce option is not there yet. Okay, hold on. So near the Colosseum and which garbage dump? Based on the explosion sound we heard from the kidnapper's phone, we know that John's being confined someplace in the vicinity of the Colosseum. One of the garbage dumps is right next to the Colosseum. John was almost certainly taken there. In which case, the place he's being confined to must also be somewhere close by. Gumshoe. Yes, sir? Could I ask you to search the area around this garbage dump? You don't have to ask me like we're strangers, sir. It feels so distant. Please just order me around like you normally do. Are you sure? Right now I'm not a prosecutor. Didn't I tell you? Detectives don't just investigate for the sake of prosecutors. You have my thanks, detective. <laughs> All that health just from that one, that one bit of uh, that stupid garbage area. Mr. Edgeworth, look, it's almost time. Yes, it would be best if we hurry. They should also be at their limit. Gumshoe, I'm counting on you. Leave it to me, sir. This may be an unofficial investigation. But I'll call in all my pals from the station to help. I'll help too. Stealing John back is my job after all. I'll be returning to the courtroom. I might be able to draw out some more time. Okay, well then. Even in the depths of... Night. The clock just struck two. We have to hurry. Ah, my introduction! When the Delta fly! We're blasting off again! Well, well, well. If it isn't former prosecutor Edgeworth. Blaze. Witness, face forward. We're not done talking yet. Like I said, you see, why exactly would I have need to help that person out, Your Honor? You know, it's a crying shame. Having a beautiful woman declared guilty. Honestly, it brings tears to my eyes. But you see, there's no reason for me to go out of my way to hide evidence just to save her. Objection! But we still have the testimony of your son, Prosecutor DeBest. He testified that he'd handed the evidence over to you. Hmm, well, I have the slightest clue what he was talking about. I simply can't imagine why Sebastian would have said something like that, you know. Objection! What if there is evidence that shows your connection with Warden Roland? And just what do you think you're doing, former Prosecutor Edgeworth? I was under the impression that you were no longer in any position to stand in court. Miles, how dare you barge into my prosecutor's bench! Francisca, I'm sorry. I need you to lend me the bench for a little while. What are you saying?! Courtney, I brought vital evidence related to this case. Your Honor, please allow me to testify. Ba-dam-bam-ba-bam-bam. Ha ha ha, she never allow it. Objection. Courtney, Uncle Ray also asked that he be allowed to testify. There are no objections from the prosecution either, right? Understood. The prosecution also has no objections. Objection. There's no way you can now something like this, you know. Such high-handed methods! Surely are enough to warrant being held in contempt of court, wouldn't you say, Courtney? As long as John is still in danger, Judge Courtney cannot rule against the Warden. I must convey to her somehow that the search for her son is in pro uh, progressing. Judge Courtney, 
I ask that you have faith in me and my assistant. Now that you mention it, where exactly is she? She is currently out searching for the most important piece of evidence. Objection. It's a waste of time. There's no such evidence. Are you stalling for time? How disgraceful. Objection. Most important piece of evidence, huh? Courtney. I don't really know what that evidence is, but I think we should have faith in her. After all, even if she may not look like it, she's still the great thief Yadagarasu. Somehow it seems that Mr. Shields understands. Courtney, we've already determined the general location of the evidence. It's only a matter of time before she steals the evidence back. I understand. Then I shall give you special permission to testify. Thank you, Your Honor. This is ridiculous! This vital evidence that you have found, please present it to the court. Blaze de Best and Patricia Rowland are somehow connected. Allow me to present the evidence that proves it. And with that, why don't we end this video here? Because that way, you know, it's probably the, the closest point we'll get to a natural stopping point without going too far into it again. So stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!